I want to show you how to create a 3D environment. From the Extras and Helps category, if you look at the example file called Orbit Left Environment, you can hover over it to quickly see how it affects the title on the timeline. Now let's go through the steps on how this was created. I have an image in which I've already separated out some elements to use, and I have named each image so that I can better know which drop zone to place it in. I'll go ahead and drag an environment onto my title. As you can see, the drop zone default images give you a quick look as to how the effect will appear. Now I will go ahead and place my separate image elements in their correct place, depending on if it's a background element or a foreground element. Once I have my images in place, I can then go in and adjust the scaling of each image to make it fit how I want it in the frame. The layer elements have preset positions in the Z space, but I can further adjust them to my liking. One thing to note is that if you want an image to be located farther back or closer up, you can easily change this by adjusting the Z position parameter. Then you can go in and scale it back down or up to fit the edges to the frame. This is great for when you want the infinity image to go back farther than the preset position. Now that we have all the elements in place, you can scrub through the effect and see how it looks. Now you can make any change to the camera parameters you wish if you want more or less angles to be affected.